create our voiceoverguide.com. Another quick tutorial. This one's going to be a little bit different. Should be fun nonetheless. We are going to work on filtering, EQ, and processing the female voice. Had a few requests from a couple subscribers talking about either vo voiceover work or vocals. And we're going to attack it in two parts. This part will do the female voice and the next one, which will be part three of our vocal in the mix series, will work on rap lyrics and fitting those in the mix. So right now we're going to actually work with a female voiceover. I was fortunate enough to have a good friend of mine, Kathy Curtis, uh, who you will see right here. This is her website. Uh, she is a voiceover actor, voiceover artist, uh, on-air personality, uh, on-camera personality, uh, and just all-around great, great lady uh, who's got a sweet and sexy voice, uh, to say the least. Um, so check her out. Uh, she's at KathyCurtisVoice.com. Again, KathyCurtisVoice.com. The links will be in the description below. So check her out. Um, she was nice enough to uh, cut a few uh, dry voiceover uh, spots for us so we could have a little fun and playing around with the EQ. So the request I get is, what kind of processing do you give to a female voiceover artist uh, than you would a male voiceover artist? Well, not a whole lot different. Uh, it's funny when you look at um, kind of the tips for EQing or, or compressing uh, voice in general, be it for a song or voiceover, um, one of the things that I like to do for the most part is get rid of uh, excess low ends. And we'll talk about that a little bit today uh, and then talk about removing trouble frequencies and things like that. So um, here it is real quick, just so um, you can see I've already kind of uh, made a... Uh, bed track and everything, but this is the vocal piece, and I'll show you. We want to boost this because it's a little bit soft-spoken, uh, female voice, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just play around with this real quick, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Take a listen. We want to tickle your Twitter. Log on to 1075online.com and click the Twitter link. We want to tickle. <laughs> Thanks from 1075. She's got one of the most adorable laughs ever. I think I've listened to a laugh uh, part uh, about 20, 30 times. So it's kind of a, a uh, addictive uh, laugh. So if you're looking for anybody to do any kind of your DJ drops uh, or any of your on-air cuts, uh, commercial spots, and you need that perfect female voice, by all means, uh, Kathy has uh, got it going on. Uh, and she's down there in sunny Florida, I believe. Um, but go ahead and check her out at her website. So the first thing I want to do, just like anything else, is I want to go ahead to my tools here and I'm going to go into my uh, dynamics processing and I am going to go to my compander, making sure I click on my spline curves there, get that nice S curve in there, click OK. All right, there we go. A little bit better. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and normalize. There we go. Now we've boosted that up just a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and take a listen and see where we're at. We want to tickle your Twitter. Log on to 1075online.com and click the Twitter link. <laughs> Thanks from 1075. All right, that's good. Nice volume. You see we're peaking here right about negative 4 dB, uh, which is perfect where we want to be at, where we want to kind of start. So that's as much that, that I'm going to do here in the edit view. So let's go back to multi-track now. Uh, you know what? Let's go back. I want to show you one more thing. One thing that I would do with this voice piece here, if it were my own voice, um, I'll show you real quick. I would go into the parametric EQ. And I would add, um, I have a preset for my bass. And, and this is just, it kind of gives you a little bit of that uh, EQ, gives you that bottom end, low bass, uh, radio, kind of DJ 
tone that you're used to hearing on the radio. So this is what the female voice would sound with that preset. Take a listen. We want to tickle your Twitter. Log on to 1075online.com. So even with the gain, uh, taking that off just a little bit much uh, for what we're looking for. We're not trying to over-exaggerate the, the bass in the female voice. We want to keep that nice, elegant, beautiful, uh, pretty quality, uh, the female voice, and still give it some nice authority. So um, that's why I don't add that to that. And those of you who are fans uh, of my page know uh, that parametric EQ is something I always go to, and especially some of the uh, commercial voices that I do. All right, one of the things you want to do here now is from this area go into so we're going to talk about go to your filter and eq um, files here and or your presets excuse me and click on that we can go through a lot of these i showed you the parametric eq that i add on some of my voice work but we're going to go on the fft filter right here um, just to give you give you an idea uh, of what this is. There's a lot of presets here in Adobe Audition 3.0, but one of the ones that you use most often, here's a de-esser, uh, and that drops kind of the mids and the, you know, seven to 10,000 um, hertz range, uh, and that definitely kind of gets some of that out of the way. Um, your sibilants, your pops, your peas. One of the things that we're gonna look at right now, and I believe I told you, is what we're trying to do is kind of roll off um, some of these um, low ends. So what I'll do is kind of give you an idea of, if you just take the kill the subharmonics here, I'll play this for you real quick. We want to tickle your Twitter. Log on to 1075online.com. Now it may be hard for you to hear here and hopefully you'll hear it in the finished spot, but what you want to do here is just roll everything off below 150. So if you're in this area here, one, 150, if you kind of roll that off there, um, you can do that. Right about there, take a listen. We want to tickle your Twitter. Log on to 1075online.com and click the Twitter link. <laughs> Thanks from 1075. You got to be careful right in. Maximum music. The new. Oops, sorry about that. Um, yeah, you want to be real careful. You want to get into it because then you'll get into some of the a um, little bit of robotic um, sounds right there. So right about 140. It's sick listening again. We want to tickle your Twitter. Log on to 1075online.com and click the Twitter link. Now that's pretty good. For her voice, um, that works out real, real nice. So kill the subharmonics. Um, we're rolling everything off of about 140 and below. We don't need to boost uh, any more highs or anything like that. Just to give you an idea, uh, be it vocals, uh, in a female recording a song or voiceover, um, just as a starting point, um, if you're having problems with certain frequencies, good idea is to start off and roll everything below 150. Um, if it's still a little boomy, uh, you can try cutting somewhere between uh, 250 and 350 hertz. Um, if it sounds very boxy, it's not real boomy and bassy, but you're kind of boxed. Um, try cutting between 400 and 500 hertz. That area in there, that'll help you out a bit. And if it's sounding real nasally, uh, you might want to try cutting somewhere between uh, 1 kilohertz and 4 kilohertz. Uh, that'll give you just some ideas. Play around with this, you know. Uh, throw down a, a vocal line or throw down a voiceover. Uh, come into your filter here. Play around. You'll see exactly where uh, some of those things uh, play and whatnot. Here's a good one. If you're ever doing uh, any kind of a commercial spot where you're in a club or you're somewhere where there's music playing and then someone picks up the cell phone and starts talking and you want to kind of mute that music in the background, um, here's a good one to use. And just remember this preset here. Uh, this curve itself, or there's a preset called the club downstairs. Take a listen. You want to tickle your Twitter? Log on to 1075online.com. So you can still hear it in the background, but it's just muffled enough where if you had something over and above that, um, it'd really, really come through. So, um, again, one thing that we'll go and let's go ahead and put that back to where we are. Kill the harmonics 
and we were throwing that over to about what I say 140 ish um, right around there so uh, let's put that there hit OK so I changed that just a little bit now we can go back here and take a listen with um, without we'll just solo this track and take a listen to it and see how it sounds now we want to tickle your twitter log on to 1075online.com and click the twitter link <laughs> thanks from 1075 one other thing to remember too we'll go over this in another tutorial but um, you want to use eq before you do compression um, compression brings out all the flaws in a recording so you know compression uh, compression by definition makes the louder parts quieter and the quieter parts softer uh, or the quieter part quiet parts louder i gotta stop speaking so fast um so you want to watch what you go ahead and compress because you're just going to accentuate some of those areas that you may have some issue now if you're not familiar like i have no clue what frequency is bad what's good um another tool in adobe audition if you double click on this go into your edit view uh, you can take this area say it's just this part right here say you're having some trouble but you don't know where it's at you don't know if it's mids lows highs right here we've talked about this once before this is the spectral frequency display click on that it'll open up and you'll be able to see right here here's your hertz level right along this side here everywhere from zero to twenty two thousand so as you play this spot here, you'll find out where you might have a rumble, um, where you may have a sound drop off or pick up, and you'll be able to see these problem spots visually uh, and not just from an audio standpoint. You'll visually be able to pick out where some of these trouble spots may be. Um, so when you're in here, you may be able to say it's this area right here. Um, there's tools in here where you can heal that, um, taking that part out. Um, you can you know, scrub like this uh, and remove some of these areas. It'll take a few seconds to get that stuff done. but So keep that in mind. If you can't find the frequencies, you're not sure exactly what, what hertz level um, your problem area may be, um, you can go ahead and open up the spectral frequency area, and that'll help you identify um, where that position or where that um, odd audio sound may be coming from. Okay? So now that we have that, let's go ahead and go back to multi-track view. And basically that's what we've done um i'll go ahead and mute this and we'll play with the levels just a little bit to get it to fit in the mix but uh here's what the finished product sounds like um again if you have any questions this was a real quick tutorial we'll uh, deal with the rap vocals on the next series coming up soon um if you have any voiceover needs voiceover work um from a male perspective, uh, come check us out at www.ourvoiceoverguide.com. Again, special thanks to Kathy Curtis, who allowed us to use some of her dry reads for this quick tutorial. Uh, again, you guys need uh, a female voice. Um, check her out. Um, website, again, is kathycurtisvoice.com. Check her out, and we'll talk to you soon. We want to tickle your Twitter. Log on to 1075online.com and click the Twitter link. <laughs> Thanks from 1075. Maximum Music, the new hits of 1033 with 103 days of back-to-back non-stop hits.